Hey, it's that time of year again where you can win up to $2,500 in prize money by supporting Prairie View Athletics at the same time. All you have to do is register for the Prairie View Athletic Club annual raffle ticket prize giveaway. Simply dial 936-857-5817. $1,000 first prize, $750 second prize, third prize is $500, and fourth prize is $200. $50. Call and register today, 936-857-5817. Prairie View Athletic Club, proudly serving Prairie View Athletics since 1986. That number again, 936-857-5817. And welcome back to the Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. It's time for the Petaway Prince Pickums. I have on the line with me none other than Coach Van Petaway. How you doing this week, Coach? Well, I'm I'm doing okay uh, physically, mentally. I'm you know I, I uh, there's a strain because I I did not pick the way I should have. Well, you know, you can't win them all the time, Coach, and even though I got a little edge, I'm still behind, so you win and where it counts. How about that? Okay, I'll take that then. I'll take that. Okay, now. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, before we get into our picks this week, um, I have got to really admit, man, I, I was let down by the performance of my Panthers. I, I had a feeling it was going to be a tough game being on the road, but I didn't expect them – did not show up in San Antonio. Did you feel the same way on that one, Coach? Well, well yeah, I, I thought there'd be a, a better showing, but you know that when, when you look at those schools that that uh, that are playing and, and and doing those money games, they they gonna go all out. Those coaches get those kids ready to play uh, a little bit more because they know from the uh, the fan base that. That, that that is a game that they have purchased, and they're looking to come out on top. So you know, I just I just figured that uh, home team was going to be able to to pull it off, but not by yes, sir. Not scoring forty points though. Well, not not I wouldn't mind giving up the forty, but at least have thirty eight. <laughs> 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 you know, but um, it, it is what it is. Um, you got to put them behind you, just like you have the the forty points against Texas Southern. Prior to that, you end up with with nine on on that flip side of that. So as it stands right now, the Panthers are shade under averaging twenty five points per game as they get ready to take on Houston Baptist. Now, something that has been of a greater concern for me, Coach, is maybe you have heard this term used in regards of the new look Southwestern Athletic Conference that they were the SEC of FCS football with all the, uh, the schools that make up the conference now and the prestige when it comes to football. And my response to that is we've been claiming it but haven't been showing it actually out there on the field as a result to playing against the MEAC, playing against the Southland and the OVC, even though the SWAC is 2-0 and against the OVC this week or this season, uh, with Jackson State doing what they've done, and for the most part, Alcorn was able to take care of Northwestern State. But in the grander scheme of things, we've been coming up a little short. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think it's, it takes time. And then uh, you mentioned that the conferences that are more comparable to the SWAC, but as they have played up also in the Power Fives, uh, you know, we, we can't score. We're not even getting on the board, so uh, it's been a little, little challenging. But I think that if we drop everything down and we play conferences that are equal on our level, then I think it, the tide will turn, and we will have that super conference that they think that we put together. Well, I I hear that loud and clear. So would you not agree that the Southland, the MEAC, and the Ohio Valley Conference are along our counterparts as far Correct. as budgets. Right, okay. right, right. Yeah, they're they're we in the ballpark with them. Right, yeah, in my right, opinion, and we're and in the ballpark with them. So we should, and that's where the concern is with me because, like I said, the Power Five, and and I'm going to make this note. Although Auburn beat Alabama State 62-0, what I saw in that first quarter and a half out of Alabama State. I was really impressed 
with what they brought to the table because they were actually within their game. Be down only six nothing at the end of the first quarter. The defensive front held off a much larger offensive line on a fourth down and uh, less than a yard to go. They they held their ground and they did some good things. They were moving the ball a little bit on the offensive side, but just didn't take care of a couple of, of wide open opportunities. And we knew at the long run that this would be end up what it is because, hey, it's a power five in the yeah. best conference in the country, you know, um, what's to be expected. Right, right. That, that The final score was what, what I felt it was. It would be, um, and you're right, Alabama State, they did put up a fight early, but once that yep, came into play, I think that's when the tide turned. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I guess it's time for us to try to make uh, our men's for this week. I'm still behind you, sir. You're still ahead officially 10, I believe you're um, 10 and 1 this week or something like that along that line. You, you, you were, right. I, and I'm I, 8 I, and 3. I, right. I blew up on the Northwest. I mean, the. Uh, I picked Northwest to take out all corn, and that just didn't happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I have a lot of confidence in Alcorn, especially being at home. And that was the difference maker for me on that one. So we'll get a chance for you to, to redeem yourself. And we both were let down. And I don't know how I let you talk me into this, here, Coach. But Texas <laughs> yep. and, I and Arkansas, I, I, I wanted to go with Arkansas. My gut was saying go with Arkansas. But I, I caved in the peer pressure. And I said, okay, I'll go with Texas. And even though Arkansas was at home, I just thought with with Texas trying to make a statement that, hey, we are going to be a difference maker in the SEC, I thought they would have had a little bit more bang for the buck, but that was not the case. But we'll throw all that out, and it's a new week. And and with that being said, sir, what are our matchups looking like this week starting in the MEAC? Okay, well, in, in the MEAC, that first game out is going to be – Button. That's going to be Hampton versus Howard. And that game will be played in D.C. So how do you see hmm. I'm, I'm I'm going to pick Hampton on this one. Hampton has a little bit more, let's say, uh, in the cupboard compared to Howard. Even though Howard is at home, this is a battle. They say the, the true H.U. battle. And I think Hampton's going to be uh, victorious over Howard in this one. Right, and I agree with you. Hampton is my pick. Okay, next very up, good. Next up, we got Morgan State traveling to Sacred Heart. Morgan State yeah. not be at, stepping out to play Sacred Heart, which is a, another small conference. It's not in the Power Five. What say you? I am going to go with the home team on this one in Sacred Heart because yeah. of the fact they're at home. And um, Morgan State, uh, under Coach Wheatley, trying to make some turnarounds with that program, but I think they won't have enough gas in the tank uh, this week against Sacred Heart. I'm going to go with Sacred Heart. Okay, and, and I, that's my pick, Sacred Heart, uh, only because they're playing at home is the reason why I got them. Next okay. up, Elizabeth City State. Will be at Norfolk State. Norfolk State, hands down. The Spartans are going to break out with their first win under Coach Odoms, and I think they will they will win this game uh, at least by ten points. Right, and so I am going with Norfolk State also. We're so far we 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 we're in the same boat so far. All right, yes, next sir. Next up in the MEAC, Winston Salem State will play their one of their rivals, North Carolina Central. The game is being played at, at uh, in Durham. This is a tough game because it is a rival game. Yep. Um, wow. I'm going to pick the home team. I'm going to pick the home team, South Carolina State, uh, Central. No, yeah, no South Carolina, Carolina State. State. No, no, no. North, North, North Carolina no, no. Central. North Carolina Central. Yeah, North Carolina Central. Um, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a roll with North Carolina Central, coach. Okay, and that that is my pick. I, I feel like uh, with them playing at home, uh, with them uh, being the home team, they'll be able to win. 
They'll be able to pull okay. that one off. All right, next up, Delaware State will travel to East Tennessee State. Hmm. <laughs> I like what Delaware State is doing. Yep. I like what they're doing. Um, not enough to pick them against East Tennessee. Not enough. I'm, I'm going to roll with East Tennessee. And I'm in agreement. I picked East Tennessee State also. Okay. All right. We're okay with that. Now, the last one in the MEAC will be South Carolina State at New Mexico State. New Mexico State is one of those um, questionable programs. Mm-hmm. Um, they are at home. But South Carolina State, South Carolina State, you know what, Coach? I'm going to go against the grain, and I, I think South Carolina State might be able to pull this one out on the road. Okay. Well, we differ on that one because I feel like with New Mexico State playing at home and them issuing that check, they're going to find a way to uh, win that game. So I'm, I'm going with New Mexico State. Okay, okay, we got our first split in the mirror. I just, I, I got a good feeling about that one, and it might be just a bad case of gas that I'm feeling right now, but <laughs> we'll find out at the end of the week. Yep, and now we, we're over to our beloved SWAC. Yes, sir. And first up is the Thursday night game, ESPNU, Alabama A&M at the Thune-Cookman. Wow. Wow, wow. Alabama A and M at Bethune Cook. Yes. Now, I have been on the record saying that Bethune Cookman is my dark horse. And they've played very well outside of the conference, in my opinion. They are at home. It is their first taste of swack life with a swag opponent. Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll with the home team on this one. I know that's going against your grain, but I'm, I'm going to roll with the home team on this one, Coach. Okay, it, that's fine. That's fine. You brought up some very good points, but I also think that the Bulldogs are for real, and I have to stay with my Bulldogs. I'm picking Alabama a and All right, so we, we, got, we got a couple of splits already this week. It's going to get oh. interesting one way or the other. All right, next up on Saturday, the 18th, Houston Baptist visits your beloved Prairie View. Now, I'm I'm picking Prairie View because we are at home. And I'm just going to put it out there. If we we lose at home against Houston Baptist, it's going to be – it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. That's gonna be a hard one. That's gonna be an absolutely hard one. And um, the coaching staff might have to go in the witness protection program. <laughs> well, prior to them getting there, let them know that I am gonna pick the visiting team, Houston Baptist. Oh, Houston Baptist is gonna come in and come out of there with a victory. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Now. Very good. Next game, Mississippi Valley State will be at Stephen F. Austin. Stephen F. Austin is going to win, but Valley's going to give them hell the first half. Okay, I agree. I'm I'm with Stephen F. Austin also. Mm-hmm. Next on the schedule, we've got Florida A&M at University of South Florida. Rattler State. University of South Florida. University of South Florida should win that game. They and I agree. I agree, and I have picked South Florida also. Okay. Next up, the G-Men of Grambling State will be at Houston. Houston Cougars on a high. They just got accepted into the Big 12. They're going to be filling themselves. I think they'll pull this one out over the G-Men. And I, I agree with you. I have picked Houston also. Mm-hmm. Next up, UAPB. Central Arkansas. That's an interesting game. If you look at it 
on paper, it should be Central Arkansas. Pine Bluff, coming off a bye week, still feeling that they have something to show to the rest of the conference for picking them where they picked them being defending division champions. Oh, I am going to stick with my swag pride. I think Pine Bluff might find a way to stay competitive and pull this one out. Okay. And I beg to differ. I'm going with the home team, Central Arkansas. Okay. So, so we, we have a split on that one. Then next up, we got McNeese State traveling down to Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Yes. Well, McNeese lost to LSU and surprisingly not as bad as I thought, but then what father would run up to school on his son, right? Correct. Um, smooth. I hate going against the swag. I hate going against the swag. But then this Southland swag thing is looming over my head. Wow. Um, Southern's at home. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to go against my good gut. And I say Southern finds a way to give Coach Rollins his first win of the season. Okay, and I, uh, after looking over the stats and stuff, I think McNeese State has a little more in the tank. And I'm picking McNeese, McNeese to win on the road. Boy, it's going to be, it's going to be oh, some it's, it's, opposite it's, end of the spectrum at the end of this week. <laughs> yes, sir. This, this week is going to tell us fair here. Yes, sir. This is the, the fork meeting the road week right here. Good night. Yeah. Oh, man, wow. Up, we got the Alcorn State Braves. Traveling down to Mobile, Alabama to play South Alabama. I think South Alabama should take care of Alcorn. Um, I think Alcorn will make it respectable, but I think South Alabama will win in the long run. I agree with you. I pick South Alabama also. Now, yes, our final game for the SWAC is going to be a toss-up. Okay. Got Jackson State and Coach Prime Going down to Monroe, Louisiana to face off against Louisiana Monroe. What say you? Louisiana Monroe is a struggling program to a degree. Jackson State is riding in on a high. <sighs> a lot of talent on Jackson State side. A lot of talent. They're, they're, they're still gelling together. And so I an have... Outstanding game this past week. Oh, yes, yes. Outstanding game. And for the simple fact that I'm swag proud, I, I'm going to roll with Jackson State this week. Okay. I figured you might do that. And uh, <laughs> fortunately, I have picked the home team, Louisiana Monroe. I think this is another game where that coaching staff will uh, put a little extra in it because they don't want a swag school to come in and, and, and win a football game. So You're right. I, You're right. I have, You're right. Picked, I have picked Louisiana Monroe. Okay. So, well, we got some divides this week. Yes, yes we do. So this, we still this, got an this, SEC game. Oh yeah! Oh, that that the pick'em game is going to be uh, Auburn and Penn State. Auburn and Penn State. Yeah, Auburn visits Penn State. Yeah, and 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 I'm I, I'm taking Penn State in that one. Okay, I think that's I'm a good Penn choice State. because I'm taking yes, Penn sir. State also. Yes, I sir. I think Alabama, uh, Auburn, um, they don't really know what they really have because. Right. They, out, they outclassed the teams that they played. When, term, when I say class, I'm talking about depth and that kind of thing. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm with Penn State also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we got some interesting <laughs> interesting uh, divides this week, and uh, we're definitely going to 
be be knowing who's who at the end of this week, Coach. Oh, yeah. At the end of oh, this yeah. week, we, we will find out. So we'll be pin, on pins and needles starting on uh, starting Thursday. Yes, sir. Starting on Bulldogs Thursday. Go, right, right. It's going to be Bulldogs. The bull. Yeah. The Bulldogs uh, in, in Florida. And I just like I said, I, I, I think it's going to be a good game, though. I think it's going to be an outstanding game. And uh, Connell Mayner is definitely familiar with the ways yep. of the MEAC and Bethune Cooking in particular. But once again, I think that bottom line, Coach, um, are we as a SWAC conference physical enough for the play that's involved to be consistent in beating the MEAC? Right. We gave so, up a lot of points. Uh, Alabama and them gave up a lot of points against South Carolina State. That that shocked me. Uh, uh huh. But but I think with that open week, I think they had an opportunity to uh, work some of the kinks out. Uh, this past Saturday, they did do a, a ring ceremony at the stadium because of uh, them being off. They they uh they brought both. SWAC championship teams, the football team and the tennis team to the stadium so the fans could sit on the other side and watch them receive their championship rings. I thought that was That's nice. awesome. I did, I did not get an opportunity to go to it, but all four of the stations covered it. Uh, so you were able to get the uh, highlights on the sports report. Yes, sir. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Well, um, the, the the champions have been crowned, and they say it's time to get it on for this week, Coach. Get it on for this week, and boy, 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 how are they going to stand? Now, before we get out of here, Coach, you know, uh, I, I don't think I've ever asked you this, but who is your NFL team? Do you have an NFL team? Well, I, I've always been with the Chicago teams because, that, that's where my, my father used to take us. We were always Cub fans. He would, he got, didn't particularly care for the White Sox, and we were always Chicago Bears fans. But since I met John Stallworth, I I switched over to being a a Steeler fan. Uh, okay, so that... I'm torn between Bears and, and the, the Iron Curtain of the Steelers. Well, let me help you become untorn, sir. Uh, <laughs> the, the Steelers are the way that you should be, and you know something that that I that I appreciated about you all along, and now you're helping to solidify that thing. Now, let me tell you a quick story. 1972, St. Louis, Missouri. My pop take me to my first ever NFL football game, mm-hmm. and it's the St. Louis Football Cardinals hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers, yeah. and at that time, I'm five, six years old, and my pop and I, we were walking into the stadium, and I break away from my pop, and I hang under that rail, and I'm just in amber by the Pittsburgh Steelers, that black and gold. Yep. And I've been a Pittsburgh Steelers fan ever since, Coach, ever you since. You have not been wrong. You have not been wrong. Yeah, yes, sir. And, and, and I brought all that up to say that it didn't give us a chance opening week against the Buffalo Bills. Yep, yep. Okay, which is why we play the games. Yes. In the infamous words of Mr. Coach Herm Edwards, that's why you play the games. You play the games to win. Okay, and in another infamous words of Coach says, you want to crown them champions, then go ahead and crown them. My beloved Steelers, down ten nothing, fought back to come out on top, and it was just a beautiful, beautiful weekend of the opening week of the NFL. And on top of it, the Cowboys lost. So what else right. could I ask for? And then you got all the uh, all you had uh, a record number of visiting teams winning on the road this past weekend. Yes, sir. Was, yes, that, sir. That was the other thing. So, yes, sir. It's great to so, have uh, fo- uh, pro football back, and they really should. Yes, sir. Well, Coach, you know, it, it's going to be a drastic change in the standards at the end of this week, and uh want to wish you luck, sir, and okay. don't take it personal. 
Yep. yep. The scales will be <laughs> hey, the, the scales will be tilted. Oh One yes, sir. Yes, around. sir. They're going to be tilted in a mighty, mighty way. Yep. And um, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be peeking, looking with that nervous energy. <laughs> uh, so for the record, for that record, let's see who we got. Um, uh, we are going. Uh, we both picked Penn State, so that's not what we split at. We right. were split with Prairie View, Houston Baptist. Yep. We were split with. Alabama A and M and Bethune Cookman. Yep. We were split with was it Delaware State? Sacred Heart, yeah, yeah. I yeah, Delaware State Sacred and Heart. Sacred Heart. Yep. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no. We both picked Sacred Heart. We both picked okay. Sacred Heart. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Um it was a MEAC game that we were at a difference with. So you did you pick, to I got I got East Tennessee, New Mexico. I got uh, yeah, New Mexico. I picked I picked uh, South Carolina State. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, South it. Carolina State. Yeah, New Mexico in in the MEAC was the difference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so then, New, course, okay, now, and now in the squack now, you got your prayer view, and I got Stephen F. Austin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And and I'm on record for saying we might have to uh, get the witness protection group together if we lose that one. <laughs> And then, you know, of course, I, I picked uh, McNeese over Southern. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and then we had Pine, I had Pine Bluff pulling out the slight upset over Central Arkansas. Right, and I went with Central Arkansas. And then on Jackson State and Louisiana Monroe, you went with Jackson and I went with Louisiana Monroe. So there are a lot Ooh-wee. of people this week. Yes, yep. sir. Yep. Yes, sir. And it's sure enough going to hit. Well, Coach, it's always fun when we get together to do these things, sir. You stay safe, stay encouraged, and more than important, stay being you, sir. Uh, thank you, man. And same to you. I'll uh, keep getting them the word and the message out there because that's what we need. Yes, sir. Well, as they say, as long as I have breath in this old body and the old leg can kick, it might not kick high, but it's still kicking, we're going to yep. keep doing what we can do, sir. All right, he is Coach Van Petaway. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you for joining us for our pick'ems this week on the Bradford Valley Schools Credit Union Hotline. And until the next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the other side. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections Paint and Body Shop, Helping Hands Lawn Service, The Hotline Press Newspaper of Hempstead, Texas, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip Daiquiri and Grill. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 832-213-8824. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas.